Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome back to the village transformation here in my survival world. Today, I want to tackle the fisherman's house down by the water and break away from the other houses just for a bit. And last time, we built the butcher's house on a diagonal and the village is turning out better than I could have ever hoped for. So grab your snacks and drinks and make sure to destroy that like button the way Godzilla destroyed Hong Kong. Ah, that movie was two hours of my life. I'm never getting back. But anyway, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video. Good folks, it's a joy to be back, and you know what, it's been some time since we just got to check this place out in Shaders, and I'm really, really enjoying this village so far. I'm so happy that you guys are loving it in the comments, too. And just to give you guys a little behind-the-scenes look, I've just been giving these guys stacks and stacks of wheat from when I harvested the fields back before, and that's how I've been getting these guys to breed once I've been putting beds in these houses. But we have a mission today, ladies and gentlemen, and that is to build the fisherman's house. In fact, when I did the vote for which house I should start with, the farmer the fisherman or the shepherd the fisherman was actually the second most popular and i'm thinking that this spot right over here is going to be awesome but i'm not super in love with the terrain over here in fact i think we could improve this beach quite a lot listen squiddington you're about to go from college dorm to palace in fact later on in this series we're going to be building a lot in this specific area so if we dress it up now it's going to make things a lot easier in the future and so good folks it's getting towards that time what we always do the intro time lapse but before we do that we should probably turn these shaders off and leave them for the end of the episode so with that said perfect okay now we can get to work so without any further ado let's roll that intro time lapse oh yeah and so first off, I got to work on fixing up all the small inconsistencies in the sand to have a better idea of what I'm working with. And all that meant is basically just rounding out some of the edges because we're going to be putting lots and lots of greenery and structures out on this beach. And real quick while stuff is going on on screen, I just wanted to say that it's always an absolute joy to read the comments you guys leave down below. It's incredibly motivating and it's always kind of strange to think about how fast the channel's been growing lately. The 20th of April, which at the time of this video's release was just a few days ago, was actually the six month anniversary of the channel, or at least the anniversary of me actually posting videos on the channel, and I've mentioned earlier that I personally expected to get about zero views in that time frame. And seeing as you're actually watching this video, I was pretty wrong. And so to show my gratitude to you guys, I'm gonna keep staying consistent and try to improve the videos wherever I can. But getting back to what's actually going on here, I built a small dock outside the butcher's house, and I started building a few palm trees here. And these things take such a long time to make. I dare you guys to try to build palm trees like this. For some reason, it's just so hard to get the leaf placement right. But I wasn't just satisfied with some palm trees, I wanted to decorate the beach a lot, and there's still a lot of work to do, but I think it's time we check this out in first person, so I will see you guys on the other side. And ladies and gentlemen, the beach is looking mighty fine here if I say so myself. So for the beachfront here, I went with a lot fewer of these colorful flowers just because I feel like the sand wouldn't have as much nutrition. And so I used a lot more dead bushes and just regular grass. We did dot around a few of these azure bluettes. But overall, I'm very happy with the vibe around here. I think our fishermen are going to be really, really happy once we build up the house. And speaking of our fishermen, I wanted to try grab a few villagers here just to see if we can be a little bit prepared for when the house is actually built. So maybe if we can just trap this guy in a boat right here, but... Buddy, get in the boat. Nice. Another one. Don't you dare. No, don't get in that boat. Don't get it. Go, oh, man. I can't drive it if you do that. Okay, we finally got them in two different boats. All right, so I got myself a couple villagers here, and they're going to have an awesome view of what's going to be their home being constructed over there. Although this guy doesn't seem to be interested in looking at it. He's more interested in, like, exercising his neck or something. Dude, what are you looking at? You just can't stand to look at the other guy. You have to look the other direction. Dude, you guys are going to be roommates for, like, the rest of time. I think it's time to turn the other cheek. Like... Literally. Please go take the job. I've gone through a lot of trouble to trap you in here, buddy. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yes. Okay, so that took kind of forever, but you know how we trapped this guy in here and he's now the eternal captive of the leather worker shop? Well, I wanted something similar for the butcher's shop, so now we actually have someone running the store over here, so maybe the villagers will come over here and try to buy some stuff. Hello there, master butcher. Yes, we can buy some rabbit stew. Excellent. And I added a little fence gate back there, so he's not going to escape. I think this is awesome. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a house 
to build. And as you can see, I've prepared a little bit over here. And as you can see, we've got a very wide shape, a rectangle that's very, very long. And last time, as you guys know, we dabbled into the diagonal arts and we're gonna be doing a lot more of that over here in the village. But for now, I think we wanna stick to a normal house. But with the next one, the fisherman's house, I wanna of course stick with the style here, but I wanna change it up a little bit the way we've been doing every single time. And I think the way we're gonna be, hold on, buddy, what? No, there's a chicken. You're just you're just unbothered by the clucking. Well, I say this in the most respectful way I can. You, sir, are a clucking idiot. Anyway, what I was going to say is I want the house to be pretty wide because we only get to build one house per villager profession. That's part of the challenge, part of the rules. And if you guys don't know the rules, they're basically just I have to use the basic materials that they use in the village with just a few add ons. And I only get to make one house per profession but what i really wanted to do is build some kind of shanty town or something kind of inspired by that and so i think we can achieve the same sort of thing if we go for width instead but right off the bat i think the first change we're going to make is we're not going to do a stone base for this one it's so close to the water i think having it be wood just like the dock is going to look better and i think i'm going to reuse the same design we've been using for most of these houses so let me get this front face finished and we'll talk about the details that actually deviate from the plan okay so clearly i didn't get too far before we're actually making some changes i think i want to bring these down to right here instead of having them right up top here and then i guess instead of the stone we'll just go with some spruce wood and the stripped oak really makes it look pretty light so i think we're gonna spruce things up a lot more with this build okay so i put something together and as you can see it's a little bit different already i added this little strip of alternating slabs and trap doors and i think it's looking pretty awesome already with all these rounded bits but i wanted to add a few details right off the bat before we get to the more fancy parts of the house and so a few details that i usually add we can just add some bushes right here i like to put some signage right around them and in these flower pots i think i want the middle one to be an oak sapling which is actually one of my favorite potted plants in the game Ooh. and for the other ones here i want to go with lilies of the valley and then i think we're going to want to spam a lot of lanterns on this place that's going to look really really good yeah already i think that's a lot more exciting but the big difference is right off the bat guys is that i haven't textured in a lot of this spruce instead i've used it here at the top and at the bottom as kind of alternating stripes and i think that's the way i'm going to be using it throughout the build here so let me get something similar set up on the other side here and we'll continue on with these parts that are going to be a bit different all right guys as you can see we've got some kind of house shape going on right here and on the other side i did pretty much the same thing but one thing i'd like to change is i want to do some kind of campfire thing here get ourselves some fences and then we get to do the most satisfying thing. I like that because my plan is to have this road connect up to a pier that we'll put down over here. I just think this is going to be the perfect spot to put their fishing pier. I think it's going to look really, really awesome once we have another dock right here by the house, and then we'll have one over here for some fishing. So next up, we got to worry about these side parts right here, and I've really been thinking of what I want to do. And in the second episode, we built this house over here for the shepherd, and I really, really liked how this turned out. And it kind of got me thinking, what if I did it on both sides? So we're going to try something out over here. This could totally flop. I have no idea, but we'll see if it works. Now, there are many ways we could do this. I think the best course of action is just going to be expanding the box here a little bit. And this way, hopefully some awesome ideas will come our way. And we're not going to have the hugest interior here on the bottom floor if we do this. But I think I just want to do something like this. This way, it's kind of similar to what we've done over here. And we've got this indented look. And I think my plant of choice here is going to be sweet berries. And I only have three. So we're going to have to wait for these guys to grow up. Next, if we bring it out like that, I don't think we want to bring it out more this way. That's going to make it look really, really chunky. But right now, I think we can start bringing this down and see how far we can go. I think that's going to be good. That way we bring this two up and then we can bring the spruce all the way around. And right here, I think we can just alternate with the spruce and the planks. And we need to break this part up somehow. So I think we're just going to add a couple windows right here. Yeah, I think that's going to do the trick we'll fill that top part in when we actually get the roof on this place and i don't really see a reason to go super fancy here i think we can just do the exact same thing where we get our planks wherever they are and we'll go two two now we do have a problem in that we have a gap right here i think we can fix that by just going something like this nice i think we're gonna add a window on this one too window shutter and a little lantern if you disregard the chest monster in front of the house i think it's coming out really really good so let me 
copy this side over to the other side. I'm going to make a few changes on this side, but I'll bring you guys in once we get to the interesting stuff. As you can see, the house is coming along and looking splendid, but one thing we need to do is put the roof in in here, and it's going to be the exact same as the roofs on the other houses here. We just got to get our oak planks and stairs. I really, really love how the roof slopes down like this. I feel like that was an awesome detail on the shepherd's house, so I'm really happy that we could recycle that idea. Okay, the roof is in, and as you guys can see, I added a little extra add-on over on this side. I think this is where we're going to have all the workstations and all the different nets and fishing tools. And I started working on the dock here, but I wanted to bring you guys in before we keep going because I wanna do something like this. I wanna texture in some of this stripped spruce. And so if we just go along here and we do every other block stripped, see, doesn't that look super awesome? And now what we can do is just pile up a ton of barrels over here. And hopefully this way we should have tons and tons of fishermen. I even brought myself some of this prismarine that we can use as barrels of fish and guys, I'm kind of getting the idea to make a fishing boat somewhere out there. I feel like that would be really cool. It will be a small one, but I feel like we could tackle that this episode. We have the time. But ladies and gentlemen, even though the house is looking pretty awesome so far, I wanted to add some kind of balcony that looks out over the ocean. We'd be remiss not to, to be honest. And so I was thinking about where we should put it, and the only obvious place was up on the roof on this other side. So I think what I'm going to do is show you guys me building that right now in a time lapse and telling you about it, even though I have no idea what it looks like. And what you guys need to do in the comments down below is tell me if you like this style of building where I'm kind of going back and forth between time lapse and first person and bringing you guys in but also showing you each step of the way and if you like this style of editing I can try to incorporate it more and maybe we can do a full build like this but once I was finished with the balcony and the entire exterior of the house, I figured I'd do a little bit more terraforming around the beach. And you guys know me at this point, I can't go two seconds without placing down leaves, but I'm super duper happy with how this path came out that's leading out towards the fishing pier. Everything just kind of came together with this one, so let's hop into first person and get ready for some boat building. As you can see, the house is looking mighty fine right now, and I put a lot of time into detailing out this path here with all this greenery the way you saw in the time lapse. And I really love including the coral blocks and the coral fans like this on the beaches. I think it looks really, really good. But overall, I'm incredibly happy with the vibe we got going on over here. And I've actually gotten more and more excited about the idea of building a boat out here, just doing some fishing, and I think I've got a design ready to go. But before we get to that, I think I want to do the tour of the interior, which is actually actually done and I'd like to bring a villager over here. I think one of these guys is going to get to be the fisherman and the other guy is going to get to be the fisherman on the boat and we'll deal with you later chicken. So let's see if we can get this guy to take the job over here. I think I'll just boat him over there somewhere and hopefully he should hop out and go to the nearest barrel. This is so much better than rowing on land. Okay, with some luck, buddy, you'll just go and take the job. Okay, okay, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. He has chosen to be a fisherman. Excellent. 20 string. I think we can do that. Okay, I've acquired some string. Let's do the trade and you are now locked in, buddy. Our villager seems to really like his new home, and I would like to show you guys the interior of this place. I'm actually super happy with how it came out. And we've got the double doors here facing the dock, and if we walk in, we have this sort of central hallway right here. This door, of course, just leads out to this backside. And if we walk through the doors on the right here, there's just a small room for maybe some fishing equipment. It leads out here to where maybe they'd be gutting the fish, maybe they'd be putting together the nets. I don't know. That's why all the equipment is here. But if we go to the other side, ooh, if we go to the other side here, we have this small little hallway, put down a plant, and we've got the staircase that leads up to the second floor here, and we've got a nice little living room. We've got some windows overlooking the bay, and I really love using this stripped jungle wood for the walls here. I think it looks really, really awesome, and if we go through this door here, we have a small bedroom. You gotta fit these in wherever you can, and I think this one turned out really cute. You can just do something simple like this for your bedrooms. And on the other side, of course, we have the kitchen over here. I can't use smokers or blast furnaces or anything like that, so I had to use the regular furnace and I really recommend using these beehives as boxes I think they work out super super nice so we've got a small kind of cramped kitchen here and then if we walk up to the top floor here it's kind of cramped and cozy but we've got a little couch in front of a fireplace and some extra storage as well of course and the best part of the house is the balcony over here we already have some cups of nice drinks and we can see a nice view of the sunset and just a huge panoramic view of the ocean I don't know guys 
I think this is the best house so far. Let me know what you think down below. So on the topic of boats, I've been building a lot of boatage over on stream, but today I'm going to be building a bit of a smaller boat just to warm up because we're going to be building a lot bigger ships in this world later on in the series. Don't you worry about it. But what I would like is to be able to see this boat as the sun is setting from the balcony right here. So I think we want to build the boat somewhere like right here. And so I'm going to get my trusty sandstone and ooh, hopefully I don't drown. I actually don't have my helmet. Let me go get that. Diving helmet on. I can't really see anything in this thing, but it, it's going to help me dive. Don't worry about it. Get away from me drowned. We'll pillar up right here. I think this is going to be a good spot for a boat. And on top of that, I'd really like to time lapse this thing because we don't do enough time lapses anymore. Like I kind of miss it the way we used to do it over in Ventia. So without any further ado, let's roll that epic time lapse. Oh yeah. So for the fishing boat, I went with about as small a sailboat as I could possibly get away with. And I've actually done quite a lot of sailing in real life, and I have fished from a boat that was about this size. Obviously not using nets, I was just using hook and thread. But still, for our purposes here, I think it fits perfectly, and it was nice to be able to just knock this out in 25 minutes. The most time-consuming part was definitely building up the sails here. Getting that organic shape just right and making it look like the wind is pushing the boat forward is pretty difficult. But in the end, I'm actually really happy with how this came out, and I never thought I'd I'd use cobwebs in combination with white glass paints to make fishing nets, but hey, that's the joy of building in Minecraft. The boat is complete and looking mighty fine if I say so myself, and I think our mission right now is going to have to be getting this villager over there. Let's see if we can do this without getting the chicken trapped as well. Nice. And hopefully he should just hop right up on the boat and take the job. Okay, we're getting close. Now all we have to do is get out and get him out of the boat here. Now, can he get up is the question. We may have to give him an extra slab just to get up on. Maybe we'll give him some extra light over here too. I need you to take the job. I need you to see the barrel. Oh yeah, he did it. He did it. And I think he's actually trapped down here as well. I have grabbed myself some coal so we can finally get some trades up for this guy. I guess we'll leave him the coal and the emeralds as well. Oh, and you guys definitely need to tell me what you think about this design right here. This fishing net. I think it came out pretty cool. It looks like it's being dragged in the water. Okay, now this is the view of the sun said I was talking about before that I wanted to see from the balcony. That's looking so awesome. But guys, definitely let me know what you think about the building we did in this episode. In the next one, I've got a lot of awesome stuff planned. I want to continue on the well project as well. But ladies and gentlemen, we're closing in on the end of the video here, so remember to leave me a like if you haven't already, and comment on what you liked most about this episode. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this one, and you know the deal. If you stayed all the way to the end, then you're the champ, and I appreciate your existence. And until we see each other next time, have a good one.